This is your crypto news in just a couple of minutes. Mt. Gox's new deadline is the end of October to push out all that Bitcoin, which means less sell pressure this month. And I still think, and it's not financial advice, but I think it's up October. If we have a look at this chart right here from this day, we can see in 2020, October went kind of flat and then up it went. We can see it in 2023 as well, down and then up. And now we're still early on. So just give a little bit more time, in my opinion. In general, there's a little bit more green in the market and we're a little bit more fearful, which I like to see. If you think there's no demand for crypto, have a look at this. This was a very extensive and trusted survey. There is certainly demand. SEC Commissioner Mark Ueda says that basically everything the SEC has been doing has actually hurt crypto. So now this might be the time to change things. The M2 growth supply is at 6.92%. Now this is very important because this was the same in 2021 and 2017 when we had massive peak years. With inflation, we've got one that's down and another one is up, which is a little bit confusing, but I still think that what's going to happen is more money printing. Camino has rolled out cross and isolated mode for borrowers on their platform. What this basically means is if you use isolated mode, you can get a higher LTV as compared to cross. DBridge has an option to claim your DBR straight to a centralized exchange. This is a complete non-event for me, but I'm putting it on your radar as you've got basically just today to get it done. Divi Bet, which does sports betting and things like that, they're doing their token generation event with Bonk Live on the 29th of October. Personally, I'm keen to see them succeed. Launch by NFT has done a snapshot. This is a little bit of a non-event for me as I have barely used it, if at all, but if you've used it, it might be worth something, but I doubt it. BonkBot is going through a major security upgrade. You don't have to do anything, but if you're using it, just keep using it. And remember that Bonk is deflationary. Yesterday, I mentioned Unichain. At present, not bullish in the slightest, not bullish on a Unichain, Uniswap, or the Uni token. This little blurb from Asari is fantastic. Overall, the researcher just doesn't see that there's going to be massive adoption of this. By the way, you should give Masari a trial. Use the code ASKCOPILOT. It gives you one month free of premium access. Here, I'm using it to try and get a little bit more understanding on PopCat, SBX6900, and Giga to see if these actually have any value. I mean, they've done very well thus far, but will they go to what Murad says they will? There's no referral or kickback or anything like that. I just want people to research better. So as an example, the analyst takeaways from token 249 breakpoint, there are three of the best tokens to invest in from this takeaway, Helium, Solana, and BitTensor, their Tau token. Now it's time for the actionables. Remember, download the Jupyter mobile app. It's only on iOS for now. Should be on Android within a month or so. World Liberty Financial, connect your wallet and complete KYC. If you're keen, we might do a dedicated video on this. Let me know. Grab some meme coins, maybe even add some of Murad tokens into that. Giga, SBX6900, and also PopCat. Camino has been doing very well. I've been talking about this for so long. You may consider DCAing into some Camino and Cloud in the next dip, or just DCAing as per normal. And remember, You've got soul. It's in your wallet. Go and stake it with validator.com. Always stake your soul. You can also borrow PYUSD instead of USDC against your LSTs on Camino and pay less interest. Airdrop actionables, nothing much. Just use the Jito Soul and Soul Meteor Pool in Camino. It gets you Met points and Camino points. That's all the crypto news for today.